At the beginning of the experiment, the nitrogen in the air in the apparatus is oxidized by oxygen by means of an electric arc until there is no more free oxygen in it. The high voltage is about 40,000 volts at a current of about 4 amps. The electric arc is so hot that it must be clocked to give the electrodes time to cool down. The gas wash bottle filled with distilled water ensures that the gases in the reaction vessel can expand, but that no air can enter from the outside. The reaction flask contains 50 milliliters of 75% formic acid and another 50 milliliters of distilled water. I use formic acid because traces of formic acid have been detected spectroscopically in space. In 2000, 0.09% formic acid was found for the first time in the envelope of Comet Halbop, in addition to other organic compounds such as hydrocyanic acid, acetonitrile, methanol, or formic acid methyl ester. After one hour, the heating mantle and the Liebig condenser are started up. Unfortunately, the high voltage is now discharging across the liquid, which forces me to readjust the electrodes. The Vigru column serves as intermediate storage for the condensate and is supposed to give it time for chemical reactions before it runs back into the main flask. After 24 hours of operation, I let the apparatus cool down and take a sample. I then check the sample for amino acids using the anhydrin test. The color change is clearly visible which is called Ruman's purple. A sample with the initial solution, on the other hand, shows no color change. Since ninhydrin also shows the same color change in the presence of ammonia, I examine the sample by means of the so-called cross-test. For this purpose, the sample is placed in a watch glass, to which concentrated sodium hydroxide solution is added, and covered with a second watch glass, on the inside of which a moistened piece of pH indicator adheres. A second moistened piece of pH indicator is placed on the outside so that it forms a cross. Hence the name of the test. This ensures that the gas produced really comes from the reaction and not from the surrounding air. Of course, 
that is not a professional analysis of the sample, but it is about all I can do in my humble chemistry lab. Many questions also remain open. For example, is the experiment reproducible? What is the role of iron triformate that is sure to have formed from the formic acid and the stainless steel electrodes? Which amino acids have been formed? What is the reaction mechanism? Anyway, thanks for watching.